eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Look, I'm confused about this hep C testing thing. Okay, there are a few different hep C tests. There's hep C screening tests, and there are tests that look for virus. They're different. You mean to tell me there's more than just one test? Right. Most people who've been tested for hep C have only had the first part, the screening part, done. And that test is either going to come up negative or positive. If the screening test is positive, it doesn't mean the hep C virus is still in your body. That's because one in four people clear the virus on their own. Their own body gets rid of it. But even after the hepatitis C virus is gone, the screening test stays positive. And the screening test isn't smart enough to tell you whether you've cleared the virus. It can only tell you if you were ever exposed. The screening test is called an antibody test. And here is how it works. Say you've been exposed to the hep C virus because you shared some part of your works. When the hep C virus gets into your body, your body makes antibodies to fight it off. And those antibodies float around in your bloodstream. Antibodies are one way your body protects itself from infections. And they stay around for a long time, even when the infection's gone. So if you wanted to find out if you had a virus infection, you could do a test for the antibodies or for the virus. But it's a lot cheaper to test for antibodies so that's what most people who are testing for hep C do. But what that means is, if your antibody screening test is positive, it only means that you had an infection in the past. Not that you're infected right now. It looks for antibody, not virus. Antibodies are kind of like a virus footprints. They only tell you that a virus used to be there, not that it's still there right now. If the screening test is positive, it doesn't mean the hep C virus is still in your body. Not everyone with a positive hep C test is still infected. An antibody test is probably the first test that you'll take, but if it comes up positive, it shouldn't be the last. If my antibody test is negative, I'm cool, right? Right. What do I do if it's positive? The next step is to find out if you have the hep C virus in your blood. How do I do that? You get a viral load test. It's also called by the doctors a PCR test. I don't know what that means. I just call it a viral load. What's the viral load? It means exactly that. It tells you how much hep C virus is loaded up in your blood. There's lots of different tests for hepatitis C, but a viral load test is a special test that counts how much virus is in your blood. It's a really important test. It's the one that tells you if you really have hep C or not. So antibody and viral load, is that it? There's one more important test. It's called a genotype test. Genotype. A genotype test is the test they give you to find out how long it will take to treat your hepatitis C. When they give you the results of your genotype test, they can tell you that your treatment will last either 12 or 6 months. So let's review. First there's the antibody test that tells if you are ever exposed to hepatitis C. Then there's the viral load test that counts all the virus in your blood, the one that tells you if you really have hep C or not. Then there's the genotype test that tells you how long your treatment is going to last. All of these blood tests are really good at telling you about your hepatitis C, but none of them can tell you what's really important, how damaged your liver is. Hey, so if I went to the doctor and say, hey, doc, I'm worried about my liver, they'd find out what's wrong with me, wouldn't they? If I want to keep my drug use on the download, do I specifically got to ask for a hep C test? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, but there's no way to get around it. You got to ask for the hep C test. If you got a history of using needles, you got to speak up. Ask your doctor to screen you for hep C. See if you got the antibodies for it. You know those regular blood tests they give you? They're like a chalk outline. They give you a good profile of your body, but they can't always tell you if something's wrong. My blood tests were normal. My doctor had no idea I had hepatitis C, much less cirrhosis. Most people with good results on their blood tests have healthy livers. But 
the blood test comes from the blood, not from the liver. You can't always tell by blood tests. Blood tests only give you a general picture of how healthy your liver is. So they're not always right. Remember, your liver tests can be normal and you can still have hepatitis C. Blood tests simply can't tell you how damaged your liver is. To see if there's any damage done to your liver, you might need to get a liver biopsy. What's a liver biopsy? A liver biopsy is done by taking a small needle and removing a piece of your liver to examine underneath a microscope to see if your liver is healthy or not. Oh, no, 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 no. Relax, a lot of people are scared of having a liver biopsy, but not everybody needs one. A lot of people don't feel a liver biopsy. Their side is just kind of sore for a couple of days. That's about it. On the liver biopsy, on a scale of one to 10, uh, I gotta give it about a two. It's no biggie. <laughs> it was no worse than going to the dentist. <laughs> You think you were scared to have a biopsy? I was so afraid that I bent the bed railing and panicked and told the doctor to stop. He told me we're done already. Remember, not everybody with hepatitis C needs a liver biopsy. For me, worrying about the biopsy was the worst part. Spent all this time thinking on it, thinking on it. Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna check it out? They get me all squared away. Bam, it's done. You know, it's a lot of stuff, and it's tough. There's a lot of information. But I didn't think I would get it, and here I am now teaching it to you. The most important thing is that you just don't give up. 